Okay, so it says that I'm live now. I still see zero viewers. I'm going to try to load this from my YouTube channel so I can read comments. The beginning of a live stream is always really difficult for me. I can't ever figure it out in the beginning. Okay, for new visitors, let's see, guys. Oh, I'm seeing people show up. Hi guys. So if you've been on my live stream before, you know that I have a really difficult time at the beginning of live streams because I can't ever figure out like where, like the video doesn't load on my homepage. I don't know how to find comments. So let me try seeing if I go on my phone, if I can see it from there. But um, to everybody who's just joining, like really, I'm gonna read comments, but it's mostly, I'm gonna be doing this grocery haul. So I'm not gonna be reading that many comments. I just wanna see like, <gasps> Shows up on my phone. See, I'm gonna read oh, comments, but oh. I'm mostly I'm gonna be doing delayed. Comments, so okay, I'm gonna mute that. All right, live chat. There we go. Hi guys. Now I'm seeing all your comments. Okay, I love how we've got Zoe on the couch behind me. Um, Megan Parker, Christina, Jennifer, Nessa, Flora. Hi guys, um, and I see your comment, your friend Jen, I'm excited to see what you got. Our farmer's market opened back up yesterday. I'm really excited to show you guys what we got. And Monica Zamora, your eyebrows are amazing. <laughs> Thanks, I just got them done yesterday. So okay, I am going to anything organic. Yes, I got some organic stuff. So I'm gonna start pulling stuff over that we picked up today. We did like quite a bit of farmer's market shopping today. So the first one, I'm gonna take this basket. It was all, it was all, uh... The whole thing was 90 bucks. Yeah, that's good that you paid attention to that. So yeah, this total haul was $90. Now, if you've never been to a farmer's market, I highly suggest checking it out because um, there are farmer's markets pretty much in every town. Ours in Santa Clarita, there's actually a couple, but the one that I go to is at a place called College of the Canyons. And it's every Sunday, and it's so cool because you get to meet the actual farmers that like grow the food and they tend to be pretty knowledgeable about the food that you're buying. You can find a lot of information out about um, the t like types of, I was going to say the strains, but like you're buying certain oranges or lettuce or whatever. So, all right, first bag, I went to an organic stand. I got a lot more organic stuff today than normal um, because there were just a lot more organic vendors. And this guy had a special of three greens. You can mix and match whatever for $5. So, I got a butter leaf lettuce. This is just the cutest. Did you see this, Dan? It's like a tiny little baby butter leaf lettuce. Oh, yeah, I saw that. I was wondering what it was. Mm, I love eating butter leaf lettuce, yes, in salads, but actually, there's a place out by us called the Tea Gardens that has the best salad dressing. And if you want to buy it to go, you can do that. And Dan's and my favorite snack is actually ripping off these leaves and kind of rolling them up like leafy french fries and then dipping them in the dressing and just eating them like that. So that's the first thing I got. So pretty. The next thing I got, cause like I said, it was three leafy greens for $5, is this lettuce right here. I'm actually not sure what this is. I think this is just a, just a green lettuce. And once again, looks beautiful, organic. <sighs> smells amazing. I love the smell of leafy greens. Um, it smells kind of grassy, but like I like that smell. I feel like more connected with the earth. Um, okay, and then the last one I got, I'm pretty sure this is just romaine lettuce, but it's a good looking head of lettuce. Honestly, all three of these look really good as I'm like looking at them in the camera. I'm really excited to eat these, and I'm going to be making a lot of salads in the upcoming days. So that is the first thing that I purchased. Um, the next thing was from a place called Underwood Farms, and um, Underwood, yes, like Frank Underwood or the Underwoods from House of Cards, although I don't think it has anything to do with that at all. Um, and I just got purple lettuce from them. Their purple lettuce oh, is so good. It's literally, both the last few weeks when I've gotten it, I've been done eating the entire head of lettuce by the end of Sunday. Like by the end of today, I've eaten the entire head. So um, we'll see if that happens. We're actually going to a friend's birthday party or their son's birthday party in a little bit. So I'm already cutting off like one meal of eating my greens because I gotta go, but I don't know. I still like it out the whole thing. So, so good. I feel like I should probably mute my computer, huh? This just doesn't happen while I'm on here. Mute! You guys can still hear me, right? Even though I muted it. I don't think that should affect the mic. That should just affect the sand or the sound. 
Um, I'm scrolling through comments, by the way, to see if there's anything important I missed. You're so healthy. Love from Holland. I try to be healthy. I'm definitely not that healthy. Keep in mind, I had a bagel for breakfast. Um, I'm on my period and it started today. And the milestones, big tests like SATs and it's a math section. I suck at math. I suck at math so bad. I need to force be with you. Um, okay. So yes. Okay. I'm seeing your comments that you can hear me. So I'm going to keep going. Also, Sophie Robinson. Welcome to the Philip High fam. Should I call it that? I feel late in calling it that. We're going to call it that. Um, okay, so Dan picked these up. I'm not sure what variety these are, but every week we see this vendor that sells mushrooms, and we never purchase them. Shiitake mushrooms. Shiitake mushrooms. So he got a little brown paper bag full of shiitake mushrooms. And apparently you're not supposed to store these in, like, plastic bags. Why did he say that? Because they sweat. Because they sweat. So you're supposed to store them in brown paper bags. So in the fridge. these look and smell. Did you smell these, Dan? What? They, the shiitake mushrooms. No, they look and smell really good. So we'll probably stir fry these up tonight. Okay. As, as well as maybe some like Brussels sprouts. We made Brussels sprouts last night. We usually pick up Brussels sprouts at the farmer's market as well. But um, they didn't have any today. Like the last batch was literally swooped up in front of us. And we have a lot of Brussels sprouts left at the house. So I was like, okay, we're fine. We don't need Brussels sprouts. Oh, not a farmer's market purchase. But yesterday I purchased a new basil plant. And I love fresh basil, especially for making fresh pesto. What's up, Bows? Oh, camera shy, are we? Um, I love fresh basil for just to make fresh pesto. I have some pesto in the fridge. As far as pre-made pesto goes, Costco makes my favorite pre-made pesto, but there is nothing like fresh pesto, and it's so flipping easy to make. I can almost guarantee I'm going to make this later. Um, I Okay, so you guys know I do a lot of like projects on my channel too and I'm back involved with a collab channel called just like that so I get really busy shooting things and so I don't as much as I love to cook I don't always get to cook there are a lot of days where like life is so busy that I'm just eating out a lot or ordering in and so I'm really excited for today because after Broby's birthday party, I'm thinking I'm just gonna hang out in the kitchen for a while and make things, like make some fresh pesto, um, do the mushrooms, Brussels sprouts, I love cooking up veggies and then saving them because they save really well for the next day, like Brussels sprouts, sweet potatoes, all of that. So then, oh, I got this from Underwood Farms too. I got a little, um, I'm burping cute. I got a little bouquet of asparagus. So I'm excited to make these because I feel like this is the perfect size of spears for asparagus because some asparagus is either really, really thin or really, really thick. And I don't really like either. If I had to pick, I'd pick the really thin one, but I like, I'm excited to have these because they're like kind of all right in the middle. So I'm also gonna do my nails today. So a little bit exciting. Um, then, so that was Underwood Farms as well. I purchased this cilantro from Underwood Farms too. It's right on the verge of like, it's gonna be going bad soon if I don't eat it, but it's like, it's like perfect right now and it smells amazing. And I consume cilantro like a crazy person. Um, I don't know if you guys love cilantro like I do, but I love cilantro. So, um, okay, I have to pull more groceries over, but I wanna check the comments really quick. So, just asking, what does it take to get you to see my comments? I see your comment, Ada. Uh, please do a cooking video using food from the farmer's market. That is a really good idea. That's definitely something I won't be doing today, but I think that's a really great idea, and I will definitely do a video like that. Who else loves Oreos? Whoop, whoop. I love Oreos. I hardly ever eat them, but I love them. Um, okay, I'll answer one more comment, and then I'll keep going. So, Miss Sophie Sweet says... Um, I'm not exactly the most healthy when it comes to my diet. So do you have any tips to eat better and change your diet? Okay, my number one tip for just being healthier, actually this is a couple tips, I've said this a million times, increase your water intake and increase your veggie intake. Just start finding ways to eat veggies, sweet potatoes, um, anything really, salads, uh, bell peppers, cucumbers, zucchini, 
corn in the cob. Like when you're just trying to get into eating healthy, like if you're really in it, people have a lot of debates about things like nightshade vegetables and, um, you know, not eating too much of one veggie because it can become toxic to your body. But I really think that all of that is like, not very important, especially when you're beginning. It's really about just developing a love for fresh food. So, um, two seconds. Actually, I'll flip you guys around. I'm actually trying to make some tea for this party whilst live streaming with you guys. So I heated up some water in my mug. This is the tea that I use, to those of you guys that don't know. This is the Paradise Tea from uh, yes, yeah, it says the original Paradise Tropical Tea. I need my little strainer. It's just sitting over there. And I take that. And I take just like a little, drop it in. Like two pinches. They're kind of like, kind of big pinches. And then I just stick it in. Let it sit for a couple of minutes. And then in a few minutes, I'll fill my um, tumbler cup up with ice. Ooh, I'm gonna move that. And then I will pour the hot tea over the ice. So now I'm gonna grab, I have the other groceries like sitting right here. So I'm gonna pull these over. And I'll keep going. I hope you guys are having a good Sunday. Sundays are hands down my favorite day of the week. I love Sundays so much. They're just so relaxing and I always do something like either going to the farmer's market or church or getting, I mean, I go to church on Sundays, but like church, uh, massages or nails like it's just Sundays is, it's just always a relaxing day the pool the koozie something like that so okay the other thing that I got from Underwood Farms as well is I got two artichokes and these are like they didn't they didn't trim the stems so <laughs> it's exciting I love artichokes so much and the way that I make them um, I think I've made them in videos before but I basically I cut the stem down I cut the head off like that like just boop, to flatten it off and then I cut the whole thing in half and then I steam them once they're done being steamed I actually stick them in the broiler in the oven sometimes I'll drizzle a little balsamic vinaigrette salt and pepper and I will broil them and then I'll make a garlic aioli on the side to dip the artichoke leaves in as I'm eating them and my garlic aioli recipe is super super simple I use a veganese for mine and I squeeze a ton of lemon um, fresh garlic, lots of pepper, and salt. So it's literally just four ingredients, veganese, lemon, pepper, and salt. And it's so good. And when we got artichokes two weeks ago from the farmer's market, um, Dan specifically was like, those were such good artichokes. And it's funny because I didn't say anything to him because I didn't know if he was going to be like, it's in your head. But I was like, dude, that's what I was thinking, that they were like better than regular other, I don't even know what regular is, but like artichokes I bought at the grocery store. So so good. Then I have an orange obsession. I love oranges so much. And we have a like farmer at the farmer's market who makes my favorite oranges. But a couple of months ago, we had a pretty big storm out here and it knocked all the oranges off of his tree. So he doesn't have any oranges now for like the next couple of months. So that really sucks. I'd actually never thought about that like job hazard in that field. Like, oh man, like if bugs attack your your plants or if a storm comes through and knocks off all the fruits and veggies or whatever, like I just, I don't know, it's interesting how you get in the mindset of like thinking about, or you can think about other people's jobs and you'll hear their woes in their field and you're like, man, every job's got struggles. Every business has got struggles. And I just never thought about that. That was a side tangent. Um, but I did buy oranges from another vendor today who was sampling them, he was so nice. The oranges are so good. So I got these mandarin oranges. Um, I don't remember exactly what they're called. He was calling them like sweet nuggets, but I don't think that's golden the, nuggets. golden nuggets. But I don't think that's actually what they're called, but he said they were like, they're mandarins. So I don't know if there's different strains of mandarins, but I got, um, like a, the bottom line, you can call his oranges whatever he wants. That's the bottom line. I got a baggie of them. So, and then I got a bag of his uh, navel oranges. He had two different kinds of navel oranges, caracaras, and then this other one. And when we sampled them, we decided on these. So we got a baggie of these navel oranges as well. And I love, like, what, the way that I eat oranges is um, I cut them open. Like, I cut them in half, and then I cut them down, like, down the sides. So they're, like, spirals. And then I open them. I, like, fully suck all the juice out of the end bowls. Like, 
Like <laughs> and I suck all the juice out and then I take the little spirals and I peel off the fruit. Sometimes I'll eat the full fruit. Sometimes I'll literally just bite and suck the juice off and just like have the juice from the orange. So, oh, I love oranges so much. So, um, then I believe, were these organic, these strawberries you got, Dan? Or did you just get them because you thought they looked really uh, good? I didn't know why I didn't want but those were the best. Looking ones because they're red. Like all the other ones are kind of like white and green. Dude, they smell so good, Dan. Did you smell them? No. Literally ripe strawberries. Oh Looking my up. gosh. They're giant. They're giant. And they smell so good. Give me a bite. Tastes like summer. It does. Mm. It's good. So good. I love going to the farmer's market. I can't recommend it enough if you have a farmer's market near you. It's like mm. it's like an experience going and you feel so even more like connected to your food. I love it. So um You know strawberry is good when you finish it and it's still red at the end. Yes, exactly. Okay, so I'm going through your guys' comments to answer a comment or two before I move on. But someone asked me what my favorite tea is, that tea, which I should probably pour over ice now. Our Sundays, you go to church every Sunday. I'm scrolling through. Strawberries. People are putting strawberry emojis. Um, okay, I'm just going to keep going. Actually, before I keep going, hey, Dan, would you mind filling my tumbler, dumping this up and filling it with ice and pouring that all over this? Thank you. Dan always makes me tea. Like, he makes me my tea. You want this tea? Uh, you can dump that out and just fill it up with ice and then dump that. Okay, I'm grabbing uh, the rest of the groceries, guys. And bring it up over. Guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Okay. So, here we go, peeps. These are like the last, that's like the last group of bags. So, the best bread in the whole entire world exists at our farmer's market. So, <laughs> yeah. it's like coming open, so I'm trying to reclose it. Um, this brand is called Old Town Baking Company, and it's based, it says, in Rancho Cucamonga. Yeah, I don't know where that is, but I know it's here in California. That's like uh, uh, Riverside, that way. Okay, it's so like Inland Empire area. Yeah. Oh, I love the name, Inland Empire. Wait, I know this for a fact. Mm -hmm. People are dying to see Bowser Terrier. Bowser, you like healthy food? <laughs> the answer is yes, he does. So this bread, I don't really get it, but a woman at the farmer's market was telling me that they've been using the same starter for like 30 years or something like that. I don't know what that means, but she basically said that that means it's healthier it's and that so a lot good. of people who are gluten intolerant can still have this because of the starter, which I don't understand, but it's just basic ingredients. Wheat flour, water, 100% extra virgin olive oil, rosemary, roasted garlic cloves, salt, and sour starter, which apparently is that vintage sour starter. So guys, it's literally, it's so good, it's flipping unreal. So next thing that I got, also from Underwood Farms, the world's longest thing of spring onions. Oh my gosh, Dan, smell this. Oh my gosh, spring onions are so good. I used to, when I was a welder, I was uh, building a college, or adding on to a college in Camarillo. Uh -huh. Channel Islands, I don't know, Channel Islands College. But every day we drive past the spring onion. Oh my field. god. It was incredible. I mean, it literally is one of my favorites. And then they, uh, and then they planted strawberries, so that was delicious too. Oh, totally different. It's so delicious. You get, you can smell it so much you can actually taste it. Oh my, totally. Yeah. I mean, scent is like a huge part of your appetite and your taste. Um, I also think visual is really important to people's appetite, but that's not, you can't see something so well that you taste it. Not the same thing. But, okay, so I'm hoping out the right salsa. This company is called South Central Farmers Cooperative, and the salsa I got is called Salsa Cicera, but I actually bought salsa from them a couple weeks ago, and one of the salsas I loved, 
And one of them I kind of hated and I couldn't remember which one and I forgot to bring back the jars to recycle them because they like give you money off if you bring the jars back. So I just guessed, but I'm pretty sure this is it. And all it is is Roma tomatoes, fresh jalapeno peppers, fresh serrano peppers, sea salt, garlic salt, oregano, black pepper, and cumin. So I'm, I've got high hopes for this, I'm excited. Um, next up, I can't really speak to this fully, but Dan got this beef jerky from Watkins Cattle and Livestock, and it's beef, soy sauce, brown sugar, cider vinegar, Mrs. Schreiner's, Schreiner's Garden Blend. Um, I occasionally have beef jerky. You guys know I'm a vegetarian. I'll just like tend to nibble on meat when I'm That's craving it, which is rare. Right now, by the way. Yeah, he loves this stuff. Okay. But my favorite beef jerky, if I am ever going to have it, is when Dan makes it at home. It's his grandpa's recipe. No, that's my own. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I wish I could make beef jerky like that. Oh, my shoot. Your beef jerky is so good. Yeah. So he got beef. This is to make that, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, so he has a dehydrator in the house, so that'll be very exciting. Um, all right, then I got a bag of organic cherries. Apparently, this is the only place in the whole country where cherries are in season at this farm. And I tried them. Oop. They're, they're two weeks early. Yeah, that, oh, that's a bad you one. You got a raisin. We'll go like that. They're really good. I got a raisin. I got a cherry raisin. Not that one. Not that one. You know, don't, don't do it. It's having a baby. Cute. So we got cherries. Um, next up, I got some organic carrots from a different organic farm. These were two bucks for this head of organic carrots. So I'm going to roast them. I got carrots a while back, and I forgot about them. We got really busy, and I forgot to, like, roast them before they went bad. But I'm going to roast these, I think, tonight when I do my, like, mega cooking spree. Um, next up, they've spilled everywhere, but we got some organic blueberries. Those were expensive. Were they? Yeah. I think, uh, well, no. This bag of cherries, that was expensive. this was $8. So that's the thing about the farmer's market, guys, is that some things at the farmer's market. And that was 5 This was $5. Mm, yeah, it's expensive. But there's some things where it's like, oh, I, Super I got cheap. this much lettuce, and it was $0.30. Cents. Yeah, it's, it's very and inconsistent. Man. Um, the pricing at the farmer's market, definitely, like, some things are really cheap and some things are really overpriced. Oh, no, my avocado burst. Okay, so I bought three avocados that are ripe oh, no. and ready to be eaten. I don't remember what the kind of avocado this is, but they're all ripe. They're all super soft, but this one, like, exploded in my bag. So that's a bummer. Um, I love avocados so much. I eat them on my toast. I make guacamole all the time. Oh, I already hauled these. Yeah, that's actually it. So that's the end of this haul. Um, but as I was saying, I eat avocados all the time. Um, I'm going to check the comments, guys, before I sign off uh, because that's pretty much it. But I love how you say, Dan, smell this or did you smell this? Makes my day. That's funny. I order him around. Smell this. Uh, good to know about the bread. Gluten is not my friend. We'll see if I end up getting taken off of gluten or not. I'm actually, I just had a bunch of blood work done for allergies, so we're going to see. But I just want to say that I love your singing. It's really powerful and, smooth and soothing. Thank you. I actually spent my Saturday night last night learning how to hook up uh, my MIDI and my piano to my computer and my mic to my computer so that I can start making my own music, too. So I'm really excited about that. Any vlogs coming soon? This is my last question, then we're going to sign off. Yes, blogs will be coming back soon. Uh, we've been working on stuff internally. Like I said, I get caught up in a lot of projects and then figuring out how to delegate work, how to eat healthy, how to be with my husband, how to go to Bible study, how to see my family and my friends just becomes a lot. So, but we're figuring out like how to kind of deal with everything. And actually, um, we actually have like blogs that have yes. been blogging. We just haven't been uploading the them footage out and editing it and stuff like that. So. Yeah, so we'll, we'll be uploading them. Actually, I lied. Last thing, I love making avocado chocolate frosting. I put it on frozen bananas. 
Oh, oh my gosh, bananas and avocado good. is like a nightmare for my throat. Yeah, you can't touch that. I'll eat that. So um, on that note, guys, that is it for this Farmer's Market Grocery Haul. I hope that you guys liked it. I will see you all very soon with another video. More specifically, share I will. Share the video. <laughs> there you go. Share it with your grandma. Uh -huh. Share it with your sister, uh -huh. your cousins. Uh-huh. Give this video a thumbs there. up. Subscribe to my channel. Turn on bell notifications. Everybody needs to see this. Everybody. And I will see you guys back here on Wednesday. Also, be sure to go over and check out the video that we uploaded on Just Like That today. Um, because it's funny. It should be up by now. I actually, that was part of what I was going to text about. But it should be up. So I will see you guys very soon. Bye.